Hello, I'm Randy Appleton. I'm one of the attorneys here with the law firm of Shapiro, Cooper, Lewis, and Appleton. I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss with you some of the considerations that are involved in a claim filed by a railroad worker seeking recovery for occupational diseases such as asbestosis, repetitive stress, carpal tunnel, that type of thing. The Federal Employers Liability Act is a federal statute which protects railroad workers from injuries caused or contributed to by the negligence of the railroad. When somebody has a traumatic injury like a broken arm or broken leg, it's easy to determine when the statute of limitations begins because that's the date of the injury. In occupational disease claims, it's a little bit different because the symptoms don't immediately manifest themselves and you have to determine when the cause of action accrues or when the statute of limitations begins to run. The Federal Employers Liability Act has a three-year statute of limitations and in occupational disease claims, it begins to run when an employee knows or should know that he has a disease or injury caused or contributed to by his work environment. It's easy to say that that date begins to run at the time that the doctor diagnoses the condition. However, courts go beyond that when they try to determine when that three-year period begins to run. They look to see when an employee began experiencing symptoms or having problems. They look to see when an employee first began to consult with a doctor. And they also look to see if an employee has provided a reasonable history to the doctor. The court will then determine when an employee should have known that he had a claim based on the conditions or the symptoms that he was suffering. The best advice that I can give employees is to give their doctors a complete and full history of their symptoms and problems and let their doctors determine what type of diseases they suffer from. At that point, you can go back and you can look when the symptoms began to, to manifest and become consistent. And it's often at that point that a court will determine that statute of limitations has begin to, begun to run on a claim. The best advice is if you have an occupational disease claim to consult a qualified attorney as soon as possible to discuss all the circumstances surrounding the claim.